Ever put on foundation that's orange or eyebrows that look drawn on? We've all been there, dabbling in the art of makeup, only to end up looking like a character from a comic book. Perhaps you've struggled with a foundation that just doesn't match your skin tone or maybe you've overdone the eyebrows, giving them a look that's more painted on than perfectly arched. These are common makeup mistakes that we've all made at some point in our beauty journey. Yes, even I, your humble beauty guide, have had my fair share of makeup mishaps. From the left side of the screen, we'll be revisiting these makeup faux pas, not to relive our blunders, but to learn from them. Because remember, every mistake is an opportunity to learn something new. So buckle up as we embark on this journey of transformation, from makeup mishaps to flawless faces. Stay tuned as we delve into techniques that can help you avoid these pitfalls and achieve a flawless makeup look. Primer is the magic potion that keeps your makeup intact all day and makes it go on smoother. Picture this, a canvas prepped for a masterpiece. That's exactly what primer does for your makeup. It creates a smooth base, allowing your foundation to glide on seamlessly. Now let's talk about a game changer, a mattifying base. This is your secret weapon against the dreaded midday shine and enlarged pores. It blurs out all your pores, leaving you with a flawless photo-ready finish. Now let's flip the script. Imagine applying foundation without a primer. The end result? A less than perfect base that doesn't quite live up to your expectations. It's like building a house without a solid foundation. It simply won't hold up. So, what's the takeaway here? Primer is your first step to a flawless face. It's the underdog that does all the heavy lifting. See how primer and a beauty blender give you a perfect finish, unlike brushes which can leave your foundation looking blotchy. Finding the right foundation and concealer shade is half the battle won in makeup. It's a game of subtlety and precision, and the golden rule here is to always match your foundation with your neck color. It's crucial to blend it down, ensuring a uniform look and avoiding the dreaded mask effect. Now let's talk about concealers. Many tend to go for shades that are way too light, creating a stark contrast that can be unflattering. The secret? Choose a concealer that's just a few shades lighter than your skin tone. This allows for a more natural blend, effectively covering up dark circles without turning you into a raccoon. But concealer application doesn't end there. It's not just about slapping it under your eyes. For a more refreshed and awake look, apply it in a downwards triangle. This technique brings that part of your face forward, adding dimension and life to your overall look. And don't forget, setting your concealer is non-negotiable. You wouldn't want your hard work to slide all over the place, would you? The trick here is to apply powder right underneath your eyes and under your cheekbone. This not only sets your concealer in place, but also subtly highlights your cheekbones, adding to the overall structure of your face. Can you see how a slightly lighter concealer shade and setting your concealer can make a world of difference? When it comes to brows and contouring, remember, less is more. A common mistake we've all made in our beauty journey is going overboard with our brows. It's easy to get carried away and end up with eyebrows that look more like they've been drawn on rather than naturally filled. The goal here is to enhance your natural brows, not replace them. Using a brow bar, you can achieve a more natural look. It allows you to subtly fill in the sparse areas and define the shape without going overboard. On the flip side, we have the Anastasia Pomade. While it's a fantastic product, it's quite easy to get carried away with it, resulting in brows that look overly done and far from natural. Remember, the aim is to complement your features, not overpower them. Now let's talk about concealer. When shaping your brows with concealer, it's essential to buff away any visible lines left behind. If you skip this step, you risk having a harsh, unnatural outline around your brows. So take a moment to blend, blend, and blend some more. As for contouring, it's all about creating natural shadows to emphasize your features. Drawing thick, harsh lines can make your face look more like a sketch rather than a soft, dimensional portrait. So, go easy on the contour and remember to blend for a seamless transition. Isn't it amazing how a few tweaks in your makeup routine can give you a more natural and flawless look? Now that we've covered some common makeup mistakes and how to avoid them, remember to subscribe and join our Radiant community. We'd love to hear about your beauty journey. What makeup mistakes have you made in the past and how did you correct them? Share your experiences in the comments below. Thank you for watching.